Hi guys, so Natalie Anderson here. I just wanted to talk to you today about what I call conscious keto. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I thought I was done with keto. I've used it therapeutically uh, for my body and my health and I've helped many other women and, and a few men actually as well help heal their body, their, you know, their physical body and uh, their health as well. And I kind of thought, I was done with that, you know, like what's next? I'd been looking at lots of other different ways to heal the physical, the mental, the emotional body. But what I've found lately is like it's largely popular, like the ketogenic diet, low carb diet uh, is quite popular. And I guess what I'm seeing is a lot of people jumping into it without really a full understanding of what they're doing. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's dubbed as like a fad diet or it's dubbed as a, you know, a, a bit of a trendy diet at the moment, but it's not just a diet and I think it's really important that we understand kind of what's happening within the body and approaching it with a little bit of um, respect I think so like to give you an idea the what you're doing is you so you're keeping your carbs really low right but there you're keeping your the, the glucose which comes in the form of your carbohydrates so low that you are depriving the body of its main fuel source so it's kind of serious, right? Like you, there's not enough of it to fuel your body. And then what that does is it forces the body into an alternate fuel source, which is your fat stores. Um, and then from that, you get lots of benefits. One, you're, you're burning fat, so you're probably gonna lose any excess fat that you have. Um, but also there's lots of therapeutic benefits. Uh, the body switches on its antioxidant protection system. Uh, it regenerates cells. It basically upgrades into kind of healing mode. Uh, there's lots of studies that show it's reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, um, things like diabetes, uh, but even things that involve regenerating cells like at, a, at a, like neurons within the brain, so Parkinson's, Alzheimer's as well, like there's so many benefits. Um, but I think what we're doing is we're just approaching it as a diet and not really having the respect for what it's doing within the body. It's really shifting hormone balance within the body as well. So. As a consequence, we, 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 we make our hormones more efficient, um, but these are big biochemical shifts within the body and everyone's just jumping on it because it's a good diet. And so what conscious keto is, it's this kind of, I guess, creating awareness um, and responsibility for these changes. So for um, this diet, but also metabolically what it's doing. So when you're a glucose burner, so say you're you know, on a, t a typical diet um, and lifestyle, you're burning glucose, which there's only about 2,000 calories that get stored within the muscles and the liver within the body. So it's not much, it's only a few hours worth. And then what happens is when you get low, you get hungry, you might get lightheaded, um, you might get hangry. Um, you basically, um, you might feel tired and that's when you know that you need to refuel and you're refueling gl glucose basically and that tops you up and then you get an another few hours worth and that's why we need to kind of tend to eat every few hours to keep topped up that's glucose and um, it's a fuel that actually burns really quickly it's really easy so whenever you need it it's there it's kind of like putting paper on a fire it burns just like that but it's it's anaerobic as well so any situations where you don't have oxygen it can burn glucose but if you switch over to say doing a, a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet and you deprive yourself of that glucose and um, you're switching your body over to burning fat but you don't really understand what you're doing, you, it's just a diet, then you're depriving yourself of a certain fuel and then what happens, let's say you are stressed, so your breath gets shorter when you're stressed um, and shallower so you're not getting as much oxygen. So you're signaling to the body to burn glucose in stress. When we're in fight or flight response, the body will burn glucose because it's quick, it's easy. But you've deprived your body of that. So then it starts to create a stress on the body. So if you're approaching a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet just as a diet, but you're not changing your lifestyle to managing your stress, you're putting a huge strain on the body. That's just one. If you don't understand that the metabolism of the fuel sources is completely different, then you retain fluid on a, on a when you're burning glucose. That's why we, we have all this fluid retention issue. But when you're burning fat, you don't retain fluid. So you lose a lot of fluid. And what happens is you can be like drinking so much water and still feel thirsty. And that's because you're not getting enough electrolytes. So 
if you're not understanding the shift in metabolism, then again, that puts a huge strain on your um, on your organs, your kidneys. Like that is creating more stress on the body um, as a result of something that's meant to be helping you. So there's there's lots of different parts that we need to kind of approach, like. A ketogenic diet or a low carb diet isn't isn't a diet. It's a complete change of metabolism from burning glucose to burning fat, and there's so many differences. And you know, some of the things that are habits or um, trends that I see happening is when people go on a, a low carb diet, they they up their fat really high, but they don't really understand the kind of again the consequences within the body. So when you up your fat quite a bit, so you've got a beautiful plate of um, high quality fats, let's um, say so things like uh, avocado and um, macadamia oil and all these beautiful fats that are released and you know maybe some fresh salmon um, that are really supporting your body but then you have so much on your plate that the body gets it all its fat from there. You become a fat burning machine but it's burning all the fat on your plate not your body so then your weight loss can stall if you're looking to lose weight because you haven't really understood what's kind of happening within the body same with protein like people can end up eating um, when they drop their carbs their protein goes up and protein is not a fuel it can't fuel the body if you, it's got to be your, your, your fat or your your carbs and therefore if your protein goes up and then you end up with excess protein this can put pressure on the body it can create an acidic environment it can also mean that the excess protein protein just gets converted to glucose and then you still end up with too much glucose to actually be a fat burner um, and that can still the results as well so you don't even get the benefits. So you can see how conscious keto is really about understanding more about what we're doing within the body, what keto ketosis actually is. So it's a real shift from a diet to actually a lifestyle because the lifestyle has to shift to support the metabolism, especially in the early days where the body's relearning how to burn fat. Another example is sleep. Like if you're not getting sufficient sleep, the body will burn glucose when there's insufficient sleep because it's the paper on the fire. It's really quick and it's easy to burn. If you haven't given it the glucose, then again, you'll feel tired, you'll feel hungry, you'll feel um, angry, you'll feel, basically your, your body's getting all the signals of being hungry. So if you're on keto, um, a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet and you're hungry, your lifestyle isn't matching the fat burning lifestyle. Fat metabolism needs oxygen. Like it needs oxygen in order to, to be a fuel for the body. You must get oxygen. So that's same with exercise, the type of exercise. If you're doing like boot camp or, or boxing while you've just started a kinetic or low carb diet, again, the body doesn't have the fuel that it needs because it burns glucose in those environments. It needs a quick fuel that's going to go like that. So it's understanding like the whole big picture. When you're burning glucose, one of your side effects um, of glucose metabolism and things like lactic acid, it's very acidic. You get that build up within the body. The side effect of burning fat is ketones, which can be used, that's why it's called a ketogenic diet. And these little molecules, they're anti-inflammatory. So if, you, if you've got like an autoimmune condition or an inflammatory condition, absolutely, this is a fantastic way to support the body, healing, get your inflammation down, um, reduce its pain like pretty much, I'd say everyone that I've worked with, their pain's gone um, when they're getting the body into a state of ketosis. Um, but it's, again, understanding like what, you, what you're doing. So it takes a certain level of commitment. It's not just about going, I'm just going to try this new diet because it's kind of scary that we're just kind of going, I'm just going to try this new diet. It's not like the diets you've done before. It's literally changing changing the metabolism of the body and we're really um, not respecting the seriousness of that and that can really cause a strain on our body, on our livers, um, our kidneys, our, um, our gut, if we're not really approaching it from a holistic perspective and a place of consciousness or whole understanding. Um, same with sugars, like I've seen lots of people on a ketogenic diet, you can have artificial sugars on a ketogenic diet. That doesn't mean it's helping your body. It can be a great gateway, like a way of keeping your sugars low initially until the body stops craving them and then you can kind of come off them. But if you're using them all the time, there's so much research that links it into different um, cancers and different conditions within the body. And I think we still uh, haven't even researched enough to fully understand the scope of these artificial sugars. Our bodies aren't designed to hold artificial things within them. Um, and to me, like a conscious keto doesn't mean um, 
total exclusion of carbs, you can use carbs strategically once you understand that, that you've got two metabolisms, um, you know, it's not, I guess, not two metabolisms, but you've got two fuels that you can use. One is going to be quick and powerful and immediate. So, you know, if you want to sprint down the street, you'll use, that's what carbs are for. Um, you know, if you're going to do anything that's kind of long and sustainable, like most of your life, then absolutely fat. You can be a fat burner, a primary fat burner, and then use carbs when, you know, you want to bump that um, intensity up. So there's so many aspects for me of what a conscious keto is and I think you know if we're looking at healing our bodies from a place of wholeness not quick fixes because that's what diets have been in the past um, it's a quick fix they're not sustainable you deprive your body of um, its fuel source and you get hungry and if you don't listen to those cues the body slows down the metabolism it um, down regulates the thyroid so you end up with you know problems in the long term um, and then basically you've got a slow metabolism and a sluggish thyroid, and that's as a result of your dieting behaviours in the past. Well, if we don't approach the ketogenic diet or the, the low-carb diet with the same level of seriousness of what we're doing to our biochemistry, our hormones, our organs, then we're going to end up with different issues, um, but issues nonetheless, where anything that we're doing with our bodies, any... Um, any changes that we're coming, they must come from the right place, not from a place of fear, but coming from a place of wholeness, like integrated, like not, there is no one foot size fix at all. There is no one fix for any one thing um, and coming from that place of wholeness. And absolutely, ketosis is so beautiful, so powerful. And I think, you know, in our in our life, it, it's absolutely something that we've, we've used in the past. It's part of our... Um, ancestry and the cycles that we've gone with feast and fasting so we're absolutely our, our bodies are designed to have those periods of healing um, cellular upgrade um, body upgrades and that's what it does but we come with if we can come from the, the right place um, with consciousness with a level of wholeness and coming from a place of healing then we're absolutely going to get the most out of the body you know you'll increase your energy no doubt you'll lose any excess weight that you have for sure your brain will be on fire your memory will improve like I thought I had baby brain and then as soon as I went keto like no that's gone um, so the brain you know just starts firing I think there was one of the um, memory champs over the other side of the world used to go keto before his competitions because it just upregulates his memory. So there's so many benefits, cellular repair within the body. Um, it absolutely can support the gut if done right. Um, so there's absolutely an amazing opportunity for, for healing, but it just must come from wholeness um, and consciousness. And once we have that awareness, we can take full responsibility for our health and we can absolutely have the benefits um, of living you know with control over our bodies again light and free um, so that's it for me and um, if you have any questions let me know it's certainly why you know I thought I was done with keto but I ended up creating a whole conscious this, this conscious keto program basically to create shine a light on what keto really is um, but come from a place of healing you know even with when we're looking at you know what dairy and meat you know people just suddenly switch over to burning um you know eating lots of meat and eating lots of dairy but you know it bumps insulin up for a lot of people as well and it, it slows the process meat and um dairy often have lots of hormones and chemicals so how can we pr approach our nutrition ethically as well in a way that's whole healing so that's it for me if you have any questions 